Quake is one of those games that needs little introduction, having been developed by the creators of Doom. But nevertheless, it was developed by id Software and released in 1996. It was the game that made online deathmatch the big phenomenon that it is today. And with the programming skills of John Carmack and the dark level design of John Romero, was Quake ever going to be a bad game? Set in the future where scientists have discovered teleportation to alternate dimensions, it was only a certain amount of time before they would go one step too far. One day that one step too far arrived as a portal was opened to a new dimension, and before anything could be done, monsters began p to pour through the gate, killing everyone without any mercy. Being the only hope left for mankind's survival, you, as Ranger, travel into the portal in an attempt to stop the demons from destroying our world. And it is here that your journey begins. You start the game in a room with three different portals, each setting the game to their relevant difficulty. But there is also a fourth hidden difficulty called Nightmare. The idea of Nightmare is that it's designed that so hard that it's meant to be the way that it was meant to be played. Therefore they hid it and had it as a secret. Your goal is to travel to each realm and recover the four runes of magic, which will then allow you entry into your final confrontation with the mother of all the demons, Shubnigarurath. However, acquiring all four runes is far from being an easy task. In order to collect them, you must battle your way through the horrific realms, fighting monsters of all kinds of horrors, from grunts to ogres to fiends to the juggernaut, lightning-wielding shamblers, and let's not forget the zombies that can only be killed by completely destroying them. On your journey, you will have an arsenal of weapons at your disposal to help you defeat the many monstrosities that dwell within the realms of Quake. Such weapons as shotgun, double barrel shotgun, nail gun, super nail gun, grenade launcher, rocket launcher and the lightning gun. The beauty about the guns is not just the fact that they look absolutely awesome, but the sound effects are great and they have their own strengths and weaknesses. For example, the shotguns are powerful but only up close, the nail guns are extremely fast firing and have a long range but eat up ammo like no tomorrow. The grenade launcher takes time for grenades to explode unless hit the enemy directly. Rocket launcher is powerful but slow and the lightning gun is extremely powerful but uses up more energy cells than you would need to charge up Robocop and a short enough range. This makes some of the weapons more useful than others from situation to situation and leads the player to learn what weapons best suits the situation at hand and what weapon works best with which enemy. However, there are numerous obstacles that are just as dangerous as the monsters and no weapon can harm, such as acid and lava, not to mention water, where if you don't get out in time you'll slowly begin to drown as you hear your character going glug 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 or scream to death in lava and acid. In true id style, you also have your character's mug in the bottom of the screen, just like in Doom and Wolfenstein 3D, and the more hurt your character becomes, the more fi his face becomes bloody and beaten from a simple nosebleed to an entire mouth and eyes being covered in blood at near death. It is something that has been long forgotten in today's modern video games when it comes to first person shooters, but it was always something that I thought was c a cool little feature in a strange sadistic way. Maybe it just adds a strange yet simple bit of realism or you feel the pain of your character being injured in your journeys. The level design of the game is absolutely beautiful and is very straightforward in a sense that you never really get lost and that keeps the fast paced action going at a constant basis. There is nothing that kills a fast paced shooter than getting lost and having to find your way around before getting back into the action again. For me the true winner of Quake is a dark satanic gothic setting mixed that with the horrific creatures that inhabit it and you have an almighty grand concoction for a brown trouser inducing game. I can't keep count of how often this game has scared the living shit out of me as a kid and still to this day has its moments that make me jump from surprise attacks from fiends, scrags or the ferocious roars of the shamblers. It doesn't matter how many times you play the game, there are still going to be those moments that just catch you even now with graphics as advanced as they are. There are horror games that wouldn't unnerve me as much as Quake does. Even nearly 20 years on, Quake, like its older brother Doom, is still one of the fastest and most playable games that you will ever find.
But is there anything that you can fault with Quake in any shape or form? Believe me, I have tried so damn hard, but I simply can't find any faults with it. But then again, I simply have way too much fun with this game to even go nitpicking. And even then, chances are I wouldn't find much wrong, if anything at all. Overall, Quake is as much fun now as it was in 1996. Its graphics haven't really aged that badly considering its age, and it still remains one of the fastest first-person shooters you'll ever play. With its near-perfect level design, amazing dark gothic setting in a hellish satanic world, and equally as disturbing enemies, not to mention the crazy weapons, there's nothing not to like about Quake, and for that it gets a 10 out of 10 from me. At the price of 5.99 on Steam, where can you go wrong with this classic that you are sure to enjoy as much as you did in 1996 and play again and again for years to come? If I had to choose between this and a meal deal from McDonald's, I wouldn't even have second thoughts. I'd be logged onto Steam and purchasing it in an instant. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more of my reviews, check out my Shepherd's Reviews playlist. You can find it link in the description below. And as always, thank you and have fun.